Should you still be scared of shooting at high ISO? Or has the noise removal technology gotten so good that you shouldn't care? Either way, in this video, we'll compare top 5 applications to remove noise and see which one's the best for you. From 6400 to 25600, we'll test everything. So without any further ado, let's get started. Our first contender, camera or Lightroom, same interface. By the way, big shout out to Kaylee Greer for this photo, world famous dog photographer who had her own TV show and so many things. As you can see, 6400 right here and the real noise comes up when you increase the exposure and the shadows like this. All you have to do is to come down to the details section. Inside of this, if you were to not even remove the color noise, which is removed by default, this is how it looks. Let us just turn on our new denoise, which uses AI inside of Camera Raw. It takes a little bit of time and oh my gosh, it does an incredible job. You can increase the amount right here. 50 is the default. So I'm going to stop at this one, maybe 74. So here's the before and here is the after. If you zoom in to the details before, after. Oh my gosh, this is really good. On top of that, you can increase the sharpening, the radius, and that's absolutely up to you. And adjust the denoise accordingly. Now we definitely need to test a human face and big shout out to Jeff Kalinowski, pro sports and portrait photographer for this sports photo. As you can see, there's a ton of noise, 8000 ISO, and I'm going to turn on denoise. Keep in mind, this only works with raw photos. And already, this is fantastic. I don't even have to do much. Maybe increase the denoise a lot. If you were to look at how it was with color noise, here is the actual before and here is the after. What I like about this is that it retains the original colors very well. Have a look between the fingers, the colors are so accurate. If we were to do it the old way, where we increase the luminance, decrease the detail, so on and so forth, and had the colors the way they were, have a look between the fingers, the colors are just messed up. Now let's up the challenge a little bit with ISO 25600. Big thanks to Ken Cox for this photo. Here as well, the first thing we would do is increase the exposure and the shadows to bring up the details. As you can see, a lot of noise. Let's scroll down to the details section. Here is how it originally looked with all the color noise. Let us turn on denoise right here. And brilliant, this is actually pretty good. I'm just gonna increase the value probably to 84-ish. And then you can increase the details, the texture and all of that. But here is the overall before and here is the after crazy. We're going to increase the details and compare later. We have lots of programs to go. But just to share with you, you can come up to the effects section and increase the texture to bring out a little more details and then also do a little bit of sharpening up to you. Coming to the next program, Topaz Photo AI, the most talked about. I'm going to leave a trial link to every software that I talk about in the description so you can try it out for free and see which one's the best for you. I'm going to share with you the process of one photo per app so that the video doesn't get too long but compare everything. So let's drag it and drop it into Topaz Photo AI. Keep in mind, this is a raw photo and already it's detecting a lot of things. Automatically, it applied raw denoise. And on the left hand side, you have the before, right hand side, after. And it also did a pretty amazing job. If you look at the hand right here, it maintained the original colors. Maybe not as good as camera. We're going to compare that later. Now, of course, you have the option to change settings like strength, minor de-blur, remove large green and stuff like that. But the AI automatically suggests you the best settings. Have a look at the green indicators there. If you double click on this slider, it takes it back to the green indicators or the best settings according to the AI. Now there is one feature that Topaz Photo AI has that none of the other programs have and that is recover faces. Now you can apply all of these suggested settings which were recommended by autopilot by clicking on apply recommendations and it actually creates a face right here again this is something you may want you may not want up to you but have a look at this what in the world is this it even created a face that we didn't want that was out of focus no worries go to recover faces section and just deactivate it done are there any other faces that it just recovered i think there is let's deactivate this one as well and there we have just the face that we wanted to recover. And again, this is something you may want, you may not want. If you don't want it, you can just cross it. And this is what we get. Moving on to the next program, DxO Pure Raw. This purifies the raw for further editing. It doesn't have specific editing controls like Camera or Capture One. It's not made for that. All you have to do is to just drag and drop your raw file for this one. Let's try this and click on process. Now there's a faster way of doing it, but I'm just gonna do it this way. And let's click on got it. 
it's going to take a little bit of while and it's going to export a new purified raw file. You can view the results if you wish. And on the left hand side, you have the before. On the right, you have the after. Of course, you need to open the raw file in any raw processing application of your choice. So I'm just going to drag it and drop the new raw file into camera raw. As you can see, if we increase the exposure, see the noise is gone. It's brilliantly gone. Let's increase the shadows as well. Actually, this is pretty amazing. I, I cannot believe it. It's clean, it's natural. This is pretty darn good. Now it is time for us to test Capture One. Now Capture One is not really known for noise removal, but we're gonna try. Let's increase the exposure. Also, let's increase the shadow just to see some more noise. Now let's go to the refine section right here and you'll find noise reduction. Now by default, it applies some settings here and keep in mind there are two types of noise. Luminosity noise, which is changes in brightness levels and then there is color noise. So you can increase the noise removal value here and then you have the color noise, which is already mostly removed. You can have more details on top of that if you wish to, but I still feel that it's just not as good. Even when I was trying to work with this photo, as you can see, it's very noisy. Let's increase the exposure and the shadows. Let's go to the refine section. Here, as you can see, even if I increase the luminance, it does remove that, but it's just so blotchy here and there. You can get back some of the details, but still, this is not what I was expecting. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments. I don't have a lot of experience using Capture One, to be honest. So, please correct me. Now it is time for us to move to Luminar Neo. Remember Luminar Neo? It brought in AI in editing back when nobody was talking about it. Now Luminar Neo also has a noiseless AI extension, but right now for some reason I'm not able to see it. Let's go to the edits section here. There is this noiseless raw. Let's open that up and it suggests the high settings. Let's apply that. It does some crazy nice animations. And here is the after. Before, after. Have to say it's pretty natural by the way. Let's Take a look at the hand. It's also very natural as you can see. Now, of course, you can work with the sharpness, increase it to see what happens. It brings in a lot more noise. You can increase luminosity denoise to counter that, but this is what we mostly get. On top of that, we have other denoise features. For example, inside of the develop module, you'll find noise reduction as well, like luminosity and color and whatnot. And even in the tools section, you'll find denoise right here as well. Luminosity, color, boost, so many settings. But how does the general denoising in Luminar Neo compare to other applications and with other photos? Let's apply it and test it all. Coming to the most important part of the video and before we jump into conclusions and comparisons, we need to know that all of these programs have a lot of different sliders and options and settings. I've tried to choose the settings that work best for each and every application, but I'm human. If I miss something, please forgive me. Use this as a general reference. So here we have the first image with every program side by side. As you can see, Camera Raw, this one is Pure Raw, this one is Luminar Neo, and this one is the Before. So let's zoom in and I'll let you be the judge. Have a look at the eye right here. Although most of them are pretty amazing improvement from the original, Capture One seems to be the worst in this case. If you ask me about the details, Camera Raw seems to have the most details here, while Pure Raw and Topaz Photo AI both are kind of soft. Pure Raw is more soft, but there are a few artifacts with Topaz Photo AI. Let's look at a different area for a different perspective. Now here and for are challenging things to remove noise from. And here, Camera Raw looks a bit artificial, whereas this one looks a bit soft. And you decide which one did a better job. Let's zoom out a bit so that you have a better picture. Even in this case, if you have a look at the details and the color and compare everything, Pure Raw does stand out and Camera Raw is no doubt doing pretty darn amazing. Now, Topaz also does create a better result, but it totally depends on your preferences. Now, if you look at the blank areas, this is where the real comparison happens. Have a look at Capture One. This is just so artifacty. Whereas even with Topaz, there are just these bumps up and down. Camera Raw is so darn clean, Pure Raw is very clean. Luminar Neo, not so much. Now let's stack them up one on top of the other so that we can do a better comparison. So here is the before, as you can see with all the green right there. On top of that, we have Topaz Photo AI. And it pretty much did an amazing job, I have to say, but the colors are a bit weird and there are ups and downs here, artifacts here and there. Now on top of that, we have Luminar Neo. It's quite neutral, but we do have some noise in the sky. And this is also good, but this area is a bit soft. On top of that, we have DxO Pure Raw. Wow, this is really impressive. Oh my gosh, the colors are accurate. It's neutral on the dog. It's just so darn good. Even the sky is clear and I'm sure you can make it even more clear with a little more adjustment, but oh my gosh, this is pretty amazing. On top of that, we have Capture One, which is worst in my opinion in this case. 
maybe there's something I could have done better. Now, on top of that, we have Camera Raw. So we have a competition between Pure Raw and Camera Raw. So this is Pure Raw. And this is Camera Raw. Actually, you take your pick. Moving on to Image 2, and this is where things get a bit interesting. Of course, this is the before, and let's compare. Now, Topaz does process the raw files in a different way, so ignore the brightness. But apart from that, tell me which one looks the best and the most natural and the cleanest at the same time. Again, if you ask me, Capture One has a lot of artifacts. Have a look at these areas around the cheek here. It has too many artifacts to ignore. The DxO Pure Raw has a lot of details, whereas Camera Raw is a bit softer compared to DxO Pure Raw without unnecessary details. But again, you have to choose between details and softness and more naturality. That's up to you. Software can be trained to recover faces, but what about the hands and the arms? Have a look at this. Which one looks the most natural here? I recommend that you pause the video and examine the differences yourself. Now, let me throw in a twist for you. Here's the same set of images, but with a little twist. Can you tell me what that is? I swapped the regular Topaz one with the Topaz with face recovery. Remember, Topaz has a feature of face recovery where it uses AI to absolutely recreate the face. May work in your favor, may work against, but this is how it looks. And you can see how it compares with that of the rest. Now let's compare them one on top of the other. This gives us a clearer picture. Here's the before. On top of that, we have Topaz Photo AI, which is pretty good. On top of that, we have Luminar Neo, which is also pretty good. Topaz Photo AI with face recovery. This is something. DxO Pure Raw, it doesn't create a new face, so it looks more natural. On top of that, we have Capture One. I don't even consider it good. On top of that, we have Camera Raw. Let's actually compare DxO Pure Raw and Camera Raw. So this is DxO Pure Raw, and this is Camera Raw. Take your pick, it's hard for me to decide. Have a look at the hand right here. This is DxO Pure Raw. Look at the details. And this is Camera Raw. Coming to the final image with the highest ISO, and this is where the real war happens. Here we have the before, as you can see. There's not much details there. And see how others perform in comparison to that. As far as the colors go, Camera Raw, hands down, the best. The best profiles, the best everything. It just works the best for me for this image again. Let's zoom out a bit and have a look at these details. Now, there are some areas which the Camera Raw has made very soft. Pure Raw might be slightly better in those areas, and it does feel like it. Pure Raw also doesn't create unnecessary details here, as Camera Raw does, so you have to pick which one works better for you. I'm not even considering Topaz Photo AI. It absolutely ruined the colors. Also, not even considering Capture One. This is just unacceptable. Also, Luminar Neo feels like I edited a JPEG photo. Let's put them one on top of the other. Here is the before. It's incredible to see how much we have recovered. On top of that, Topaz Photo AI. The colors are not very good. Also, there are some artifacts here and there. White spots, not acceptable. On top of that, we have Luminar Neo. This looks like an old damaged JPEG photo. On top of that, DxO Pure Raw, keep in mind, it only purifies the raw. It doesn't have editing and the color controls like other applications, but still, if you don't consider the color, this one created the most natural results, and I have to give it to it. After that, Capture One, maybe it's not very good when it comes to noise removal. After that, Camera Raw. Wow. This is good. But there are some artificial details. It looks very artificial in some areas, but again, this was an extreme case. So, I'm going to again compare Camera Raw, DxO. DxO, a lot more natural. Camera Raw, it's also good in its way. So, you take your pick, see which one looks better to you. I'll leave a link to the trial version of these apps in the description so you can try them yourself and see for yourself which works better for your images, for your situations, and the kind of camera you shoot with. Important information about JPEGs, all of these have denoising technology that works best with RAW photos. For example, Camera Raw's denoising feature will be grayed out if you open a JPEG. Here is a JPEG, and as you can see, this special denoise option is grayed out. So you would have to use the regular manual noise reduction, which may or may not be that good. So if you want a separate video about removing noise from JPEG files, let me know in the comments. So which one do you think was the best? If you ask me, it is hard for me to choose between DxO Pure Raw and Camera Raw. It's just 
pick and choose between different images. Sometimes this one performs better, sometimes that one performs better and in different aspects. So it's your pick, your personal preference. I again recommend that you try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I could show you something interesting and if I did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.